What's good, Washington fans, man? I just want to uh, thank you guys for 10K subs, man. This is crazy. Never would have thought this happened when I started my YouTube channel, but 10K subs, wow, man. Couldn't couldn't have done it without you guys, man. Thank you guys for being loyal subscribers. And anybody new to the channel, make sure you sub up because free agency is going to get crazy. It's going to get crazy. A lot of people being released today. John Brown was released. I really like him a lot. And Emmanuel Sanders was released too. So those are some options. I know those guys are older, but they are options you got to keep your eye on. They would be an upgrade over the receivers that we have, in my opinion, other than Terry McLaurin, in, in my opinion. But uh, let's let's get to uh, the news about Kyle Allen. This is going to be a quick video. He was a exclusive uh, restricted free agent or ex exclusive tender, ERFA, as you call it. So we are resigning him, bringing him back for $850,000 uh, next year, which is a, a very cheap, team-friendly deal. Taylor Heineke is making more money than him. Um, so, you know, he's he's only accrued two seasons in the NFL. So that's the deal that he gets. Uh, so I, I like the move. I like the move. I, I actually like Kyle Allen. I don't mind Kyle Allen just as long as he's a backup. You know, I don't want him to be our day one starter, to be honest with you. Um, you know, he's one of the former uh, Washington Panthers, you know, brought over by Ron Rivera. So and he, he threw four touchdowns in the games. He played and only one pick, had a 99.1 quarterback rating. So I, I, and he played well against that da in that Dallas game. He played really well. We remember the long bomb he threw to Terry McLaurin where Terry McLaurin sunned Trayvon Diggs for the touchdown. Then he threw a touchdown pass to Logan Thomas where Logan Thomas had a nice run after the catch as well. So uh, I like Kyle Allen a lot. I, I, I'm not going to say a lot, but I like him. He's solid. He's solid. He's a really, really, really good backup quarterback, and I like him a lot. Actually, like I think Taylor Heineke, in my opinion, I think Taylor Heineke is better than Kyle Allen. I think he has more upside in, in the way he played in that playoff game. He throws the ball downfield better, looks through his progressions better, has more moxie, and is more fearless, and he's faster than Kyle. Both of them are really mobile, so they, they fit what Scott Turner is looking, looking for. But I, I think I just think Taylor Heineke is better than him. I think he's more potential than Kyle Allen, in my opinion. He throws the ball downfield better. Like I said, looks through his progressions better and, and can get out of the pocket and run around a little bit better than uh, Kyle Allen. But Kyle Allen is a good backup. So we have two good young guys. Uh, hopefully they'll be quarterback number two and quarterback three. But I would not be bad. I would not be mad if Taylor Heineke was our day one star. I would not be upset. I wouldn't be highly upset because I actually like Taylor Heineke a lot. I really think he has potential. Um, I think he's one of those guys. He could be one of those undrafted stories where kind of like Jeff Garcia or, or, or uh, Kurt Warner, one of those guys that just come out of the clear blue sky and actually become a, uh, a, a franchise starter, in my opinion. I think Taylor Honey, I really do. I really believe that. But I, I, we definitely got to get more of, a, of an answer at the quarterback position. Um, like, I, like I've heard from Ian Rappaport on NFL Network today, he did say that uh, in the coming days, Marcus Mariota, may be released so he's supposed to be released in the coming days so keep your eyes on that uh and like i said out of all the free agent quarterbacks that are that are available right now out of, out of cam newton uh fitzpatrick fitzmagic andy dalton trubisky out of all those guys if Mariota is released he's my top free agent target because i think he fits what scott turner is looking for uh he can run he can move in the pocket he can run around he's very fast very mobile look really really good on that game against the chargers where he came in when Derek Carr got hurt, had 88 rushing yards, 220-something passing yards, had a touchdown and a pick, looked really, really good. And when he was with the Titans, he made a Pro Bowl, was a top 100 player. So, I, personally, I like Mar I like Marcus Mariota. I do. And he's the only person to throw a touchdown pass to himself in that playoff game against the Chiefs, let a, let a nice comeback against Alex Smith and the Chiefs. So, I, per I like Marcus Mariota. I do. I like him a lot. Um, I, I think he would really fit the bill with this team with, with Scott Turner and this offense. So, you know, I got my shirt on, my NFC East champ shirt on, you know, I got the mask, hat, everything, you know, so, you know, you know what it is. But um, just talking about Kyle Allen real quick and uh, the free agent guys that uh, Emmanuel Sanders was released today. John Brown was released from the Bills. Really speedy wide receiver. I like those two guys. I know they're older. They're in their 30s, but those guys can really help this offense out. That's if we miss out on Galladay, Will Fuller, Juju Smith-Schuster, all the big name guys. Chris Godwin already got tagged. Allen Robinson got tagged. So if we miss out on those guys and we end up with John Brown and drafting somebody, it's not the end of the world. I really like John Brown a lot. I do. I like him a lot. He's a speedy, speedy, speedy receiver. Manuel Sanders is a really good receiver as well. So if we end up with one of those two guys, if we strike out on some guys and end up with those two guys, one of those guys, I, I would be a happy guy. I like John Brown a lot. 
check out his highlights check out his film john brown is a really good wide receiver from the bills played really well with the ravens played really well, well with the cardinals too so um but yeah um kyle allen brought back for eight hundred fifty thousand dollars same thing will probably happen with cam sims in the next few days so you guys let me know what you guys think about that just a quick video about kyle allen you know and thank you guys for 10k subs man like i said it's, it's been a crazy ride man for real um can't wait for the draft can't wait for free agency it's gonna be a lot of fun next week it's gonna be a lot of fun all right y'all make sure y'all hit that notification bell we'll be going live next week next week uh for free agency too with my elite channel with my elite channel members y'all all right y'all head to the football team peace